Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Ron Megaron and this is Megaron TV. Hello, hello, hello. You're awake-ish. Hello. Welcome. Thank you, Colomania, for being here. Hi. How's everybody doing today? Awake-ish. Sounds like, uh, maybe in the old coffee over here. Yes, uh, so uh, as you can see, we are playing a new game today. It is called Rhyme. It is about, a, it, I don't know, it's about a little island and a little fox and the little fox with a box on the island or something like that. I don't, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out more about it. I definitely haven't played 90 minutes of this game already off stream and have some semblance of what it's about, but... But thank you both for being here. Sly, did the, uh, the alert actually work this time? Or was it just you just happened to be passing by and you realized that I was on? Let's do a thing really quick. Oh, it's picking up my cursor for some reason. Interesting. All right, well, either way, let us. It did work? Good, good, good. Let us jump into this game now. Uh, let me make sure first that I have the correct one. Okay, rhyme. There it is. Look at this. Look at this beautiful world. Oh, he's barking. He's yipping. Oh, I forgot to turn my chat on so I could actually see the thing. Here we go. That's good that it worked, though, because uh, otherwise, uh, you know. Yeah, see, it looks it looks adorable. It, it kind of reminds me of uh, of Zelda, the, the new one. You know the one, the one that I'm talking about. All right, let's get into it. This will overwrite your current save progression. What current save progression? I didn't start this game before. You lie. You lied to me, video game. Look at this loading screen of spirals into into a perfect circle. <laughs> yeah, so uh, today I am broadcasting in the room with the kitties because the kitties decided that they could not be trusted. To roam around outside so if you hear any cat noises that's because they decided that they were going to be naughty oh scary do, do, do. yeah they're very uh very silly very naughty today but it's okay they will learn their lesson oh what's that is that the scarf thing from uh you know, that other game? It's uh, Journey? Yeah, you remember Journey, right? The one for the PS3? Oh, also this game is made by Tequila Works, which I, you, you saw. Um, those are the same people who made The Invisible Hours, which I played very early on in my streaming career. So I have high hopes. High hopes indeed. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I have to move in order to get him to move. Good to know. Where am I? It looks like a big old 
beautiful island with some ruins and some really cool, like, uh, natural cliffs and stuff. Alright, well. I feel like this also goes along with Color Mania's recent decision to rewatch Lost. Yeah, there are lots of crabs and seagulls. Oh, well, I got too close to him and he was like, I'm gonna burrow now, bye. Hey. Hey. I forgot that he made that noise. Is there anybody here? Hello. He's like Marco Polo. Oh, damn. I was hoping this meant that I could live my best fox life, but I guess you're a people. Yeah. At least for now. I think that eventually you do get to play as the fox, but I don't actually know. I didn't get that far into it. And I only started rewatching Lost because I was watching a show before that about people being stranded on an island, too. What show were we watching before Lost? I can't remember. My memory is bad. I thought I could smash that pot because, again, this is very Breath of the Wild looking. But that is not the case. Oh, you were watching. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I forget that you kind of go through TV shows when I'm not around. Because, you know. The Wilds? I feel like you must have told me about that, but I don't remember anything about it. Alright, well, there was nothing up here. This is unfortunate, so we're going to go over here. And, uh... Yeah, not going to look to go back into the water right now. I feel like I just got out of there. It's kind of dramatic to go back in right away. Excuse me, Krabbies. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go up there. I feel like that's what they put me in this area for. And I just completely ran in the opposite direction. Because I'm a rebel. I'm the most rebellious in the world. Okay. I don't think we have... Can we go around without going in the water? At least you won't go hungry with all those crabs. Yeah, that's true. I guess I do gotta go in there. Uh, it's the girls who think they're going... Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Nope, I lied. I remember that one now because I did start to watch that one with you. Yeah, cannonball. I got over my aquaphobia really quickly. But yeah, all these crabs should definitely serve us some, you know, good food. Yeah, I forgot all about that one, even though you really enjoyed it and you said that they weren't going to do another season because they canceled it for some reason, even though people liked it. Yeah. Just let the crabs pinch you. I'll try not to, but I can't control what they do. Oh, cutscene. Wow. It's a tower. That's for sure. Ah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I do want to go up to the crabs and be like, hey, you know what? I know you got razor sharp pincers and stuff, but uh, I'd love it if you just like pinched me. Hi there, mama and baby boar. Look at them. They're so cute. They're boys. I'm going to try to sneak up on this one. I'm going to reenact that time that Sly said that she went and chased a pig. <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Ooh, what's this? Ha! ha. Oh. Oh, I went down there. Wah! Get out of here, piggy. Oh, there are more of them. Looks like we have five total. So let's go find the rest of them. 
It looks like we have an apple tree there in case we want to feed the pigs. Oh, they're all over the map. Well, this will be easy enough, I guess. Let's go. Wah! I didn't think there would be one hiding there. Oh, hello there. Are you a nice piggy or a not so nice piggy? I'm just going to sneak. Just going to. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not going to sneak past you. I changed my mind. Okay. We're not going there first. So, all right. Apparently that piggy is not a big fan of me. Which I guess is fair. I did just run around and yell at all of his family. Oh, wait. I can just pick one here. Pick, pick it. Pick it. Okay. That's a big ass fruit. Hi. Hi, other piggies. No, you leave me alone. Maybe you shouldn't have been scared. No! Okay, the babies knew what they were getting into when they got here. Now those ones are mad because they're like, hey, why are you stealing our food? Ah! <laughs> he hit me anyway. What a jerk. Oh, well. I came bearing gifts and he's like, yeah, sure, you drop it right there. Now make sure you uh, take a receipt too. Wah! Who got the last scare, really? All right, let's go over here. See what kind of stuff we got working over in this area. Well, that's a, that's a big drop, actually. Maybe we won't go there. Maybe we don't go down there just quite yet. You weren't rapturous enough? Well, you know, there's a difference between, like, and, um, you know... Bah! I don't know if raptors really go bah. I used to do that when I was a kid, though. Like, I would be walking through the hallways at school, like, five years old. And I'd, like, <laughs> do the thing with the T-Rex hands and stuff. Oh, man, that was funny. I feel like that's the thing that got me in trouble, though. And, like, I think that that's another reason why I was, like, um... It wasn't until like adulthood that I really understood that I had ADD. <laughs> it was like I was prescribed the medicine, but nobody really told me what it was for. And uh, yeah, I think it's because of stuff like me pretending to be a raptor while I was walking through the hallways at school. Like just, you know, just in line, just going like to our next class or whatever. And uh, yeah, anyway. I forgot where I was going with that story, but bottom line is... I also used to do that when I was, you know, in school and stuff. I would just be like, hey, I'm a raptor now. And apparently my teachers were like, no, you're not. <laughs> okay, let's get this guy. All right, that's three of the five. We got to go over here, get the next one. Wow. Like I said, I got over my aquaphobia really quick. Although, now that I think about it, I hope there aren't any sharks out here. Bah! Oh, I forgot there's a day-night cycle in this game, too. Big old tower. How many do I have now? Do I have four? Three. Three. See, I can't count either. That's another thing. Man, he really has trouble climbing up these mountains. Not that I would be any better at it. Alright, let's see if we can get over to this. Uh, I think I'd have to go back up here, actually. Never mind. I just wasted time. Can I get up there? T-Rex can't count either. Yeah, that's true. Very good point. T-Rex is too mad about his hands and stuff to bother with that. Oh, good thing I made that. Otherwise, it would have been a disaster. Poor T-Rex. He's just insecure.
Okay, well, there's our uh, first miss there. Yeah, I saw the, uh... I saw the ledge here, and I was like, oh, I could grab that easily. No, actually, that's not the case. I thought I was playing Uncharted. I, uh, I am not. Got a very good bite force. I'll give it that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's a good point. Because he runs his mouth so much. He's like, yeah, I'm the king of the dinosaurs, but also don't look at my arms. <laughs> Get up there. Get up there. You small child. Jeez. Alright, we just gotta get up to this thing and then we'll get it. You played like oh, Jurassic World last night? Cool. How was that? I've never I didn't know they had a Lego adaption. Who is that in that tower over there? Excuse me, sir uh, oh. Okay, you left very quickly. I'm having hallucinations. Oh, of course, living your best dino life. How could I have assumed anything else? All right, let's get our fox here. What does the fox say? It says, ah. Wait, hold on, spirit. I want to come with you. There's one more fox that I need to get, I think. Wee, wee. Soundtrack is really nice too. The folks at Tequila Works do like a pretty solid job of making games, and I think they're still an indie company. So, ooh, that was almost really bad. Good thing I watched where I was going and then jumped off anyway. <laughs> Wee! Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna drop down here. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. Don't you just hate it when that happens? I know I do. I'm talking like somebody from Minnesota. Or just the Midwest in general, don't you know? Actually, it's more like Alaska. This is more like the Sarah Palin voice. Don't think that you're hearing voices that I'm planning for the game that we're doing on Halloween. Don't plan. Don't don't think that at all. I would never, ever give you a preview of the voices that I'm planning on doing for the Halloween game. <laughs> I'm definitely not planning an entire production. Peggy, get out of the water. Go on, get. Go on, get. Go on, get. Go on. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what about this then? I need one more. Where's the last one? I don't see no lights. There's no lights in the sky. Where, where am I supposed to go? I don't understand. Your accent's not that strong. Well, what about your next door neighbor, Marla? Marla's probably got a pretty good, uh, strong Minnesotan accent, right? I'm sure you know somebody named Marla. Marla who talks like this. No, you don't know anybody named Marla who talks like this. This is a completely different voice now. I'm slowly turning into Bobby Duke, the star of the channel. Okay. Um, where or oh, where could this last one be? There's jellyfish over here, which is apparently deterring me from swimming in that direction. That's probably a smart move, kid. That's probably a smart move. I think I was thinking about Trump's, like, wives there. It was, like, um, <laughs> Marla Maples. Which sounds like somebody who would, like, I don't know, drive a van for the kids' hockey games, you know? Also from Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. But there's still a lot of people from Minnesota out that way. I would assume. Folks who uh, decided that Wisconsin maybe wasn't for them. 
they were like, you know what? I don't like the Packers as much. I'm going to go and cheer for the Vikings. God, now he's morphing in with, like, Trump. This is the worst accent I've ever done. Okay, one, two. There was a third one out there somewhere, and I just need one more. Skedaddle. I just don't see any lights in the sky is the problem. Do you guys see the lights in the sky besides the central one? <laughs> yeah, I would say Jesse the Body Ventura kind of fits the bill, but not exactly. <laughs> Similar, but not exactly. Oh, wait. No, I did have all of them. The game was just gaslighting me. Hello, Fox. Aw, oh, look at you. You're adorable. And you bark. And you're, whoa, apparently you're fatter than I thought. All right. Yay, Fox. Full disclosure, this is about as far as I got before, so... I'm running up the stairs. Whoa, I almost overshot that. What's over here? Where did the fox go? All right. Fox, this area does not look very, very, very. Oh, there you are. Hello. Get back here. This area is not very hospitable by the looks of it. Quite the opposite, in fact. What does this do? Ah! Oh, it raises the platform or something? Yeah! Wabushki. Hey, dragon, how's it going? You get here and you see a fox? Yep. Yep. You see, uh, you see slime, but there's also that fox down there. Doing well, by the way. How are you? What are you doing there, Fox? What are you doing? Come over here. Come here. Come here. I'm not scary. I'm a little child. I am a small, small child of no discernible gender, for that matter. <laughs> oh, Foxy. Oh. Foxy got startled. What possibly could have startled the fox? I don't know, but I keep getting closer and he keeps running away. I must be. Must be cursed. I must smell like onions or something. Ah! Oh, hello. What are you doing back here? Ah! Oh, I have to do them all at the same time. Oh, this is a timing puzzle. Okay, well, maybe I need to figure out where to be. Did that, did that do it? No? Huh. Pretty good getting on PC. Need to work on some Pathfinder ideas I have. Nice. I'd say let me know if you have any questions, if you need any help or anything, but, like, uh, I'm here. And also, I don't know what kind of things to do with Pathfinder, but if you need any help, I guess let me know. I don't know what to do with this puzzle right here is what I'll tell you. I guess I gotta stand exactly the right spot. Bam. There it is. Hello, piggy. I don't know if the fox ran down through that door or not. But I do know that there's a piggy and I wanted to scare it. But yeah, what kind of cool Pathfinder ideas you got going on there? If you can tell me. I don't know that you really can. Uh, hello? Can I pick this up? I can. I got one quarter. Ah, ah, ah.
Probably. Have I ever tried Elden Ring? No. I'm not really into the Souls-like games, mostly because I have a hard enough time finishing games to begin with. Um, when they're difficult, I have even less of a chance of finishing them because I would eventually just get like, I don't, that I'm not, it's not with the frustrating, with the frustration. World building for the two, ah, world building for our 2E world from scratch. Oh, cool. I tried building a map the other day uh, for the game that we're going to do on Halloween. And then I was having trouble finding modern assets because, you know, this game is set somewhere between the 1980s and the 2020s. And, oh, look, there's the fox. And um, I looked up, like, does anybody have any good maps for Monster of the Week? And they said, oh, it's all theater of the mind. And I said, oh, well, that saves me from that step, I guess. Oh, hello. Maybe we gotta line this up with our camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe no. I don't know. Can I move this? Can I maybe move the other one? I mean, we gotta move something, eh? How else would we open this door? It's very obvious what the solution is. But how do I get there? Maybe if I run to this side. Ew, maybe if I stand behind this. Maybe this will help. Of course, the magic. The magic. Whoa, dragon, thank you for the four months. Oh, buddy. Thank you so much for the continued support. I appreciate you. Um, where else can I go right now? I feel like the fox probably ran through that door, but it's not everyone's cup of tea. I love it though, but yeah. Yeah, I'm still gonna, I'm still working on drawing up like a, like a municipal like city map so that, um, so that we kind of have an idea of where things are like in the town. Uh, we're not going to focus on too many places because it's my first time running a game. And also, you know, it's only going to be a one shot thing. Um, but I'm uh, I'm going to get like a, a city map done is my plan. So, yeah, hopefully everybody in the group likes the theater of the mind, though. I don't I don't know. I don't know what Sly's opinion is of it. I don't know what Nox's opinion is or Red or. Does Red like a the theater of the mind? I, I feel like you would know, Dragon. But, like, I think it's uh, kind of, like, easier that way. But I doodle my map of, like, our desert coming. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, it's uh, I'll probably have one ready. Uh, kind of like I said, uh, it's going to be more like... Um, what's the thing I was going for here? Uh, we're going to do it mostly on Discord, I think. Oh. I thought I would die if I missed that jump. Um, so in doing it on Discord, it will probably be... Um, I'll probably do a lot of, like, video, like, representation or screen sharing. You know, stuff like that. So you guys can see where it is instead of, like, doing it, um, like, um, what you call it there? Like, tabletop simulator. I guess I could go into tabletop simulator. She doesn't. Uh, Sly helped a lot when she... Uh, oh, okay, okay, I gotcha. I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, doodles uh, doodles can definitely help. I, I needed to, like... I wanted to come up with something so that, like, it... Just so it looked professional, you know? Like, that's my main concern, is I want this to look good and the experience to be fun and all that kind of stuff. And also, I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, never mind. I'm a dummy. I see where I was supposed to drag this now. Um, but yeah, I want to make it look as like professional and as as nice as possible, and everybody to have as much fun as possible. So, I'm trying to like make sure everything is like looking great and everything for uh, for when we do our game. She needs to see it, which is the reason I stopped even trying through to the mine. Oh, that's fair. Spatial awareness. I like to know what's in my space. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. 
I'm um, one of the things they recommended as well was just like maybe taking like pictures or like doing like a rough sketch of like the area and like kind of letting people see, you know, what you're dealing with essentially, which I feel like is basically what you all were talking about there. Um, how the f oh, I see. Um, so I can uh, I can definitely do some mock-ups of the uh, of the area that I'm thinking of if it helps you guys a little, little bit. Um, cause, you know, I need to work on my artistic skills anyway, you know, why, why not? I could, I could definitely draw the places that I'm thinking of. That's not where I wanted that at all. That's more like it. Okay. I think, am I stuck now? Okay. But yeah, that's why I was like trying to make the map thing that I was trying to make the other day. Um, was because I figured it was probably like a ease of access kind of thing. And it was just a bummer that I couldn't, A, I couldn't save the file, um, like the actual map file. Um, and B, that there are a real lack of, um, free assets that come with like these map maker programs, uh, that are modern. Like I had to, um... Um, basically improvise on some things and I, I got it looking okay, I think, but like it could have been much better. <laughs> okay. We're going to put that there and I don't know why I put that there now. Ha! Oh, that does something. What did it do? Cause there was other flames. Wait, no, oh, it's it's way back there. I don't feel like going back, <laughs> trekking through it again. Let's just shout at all the fire now. Yeah, shouting at the fire to make it brighter, just a little lighter. Okay, so we got another one that we gotta drag the thing over here. But oh, there it is. Wait a tick. Hold on just a moment. Why is this set up in such a way? Shouting at the fire sounds like an ease rock song. That's the whole point. Um, okay, there's something that we're missing over here. So that must be what this guy is for? Maybe? Oh, wait, what if I do this? Oh, what? I don't understand what you want from me, game. Oh, I think I get it now. I think I see what they're trying for. We didn't stop the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. I don't think I can move this guy, though, is the other thing. Hmm. Oh, puzzle games. Why do you feel the need to harass me in such a way? Hmm. I'm Wait, is that supposed to go over this side? It is. Oh, is that going to complete the... Yeah, that makes a lot more sense now. Okay, this game is cool. Is what I'm going to say about that. These puzzles are interesting. But yeah, if Theater of the Mind isn't... Uh isn't so great for y'all. I can uh, I can definitely make up some maps or I guess even Sly if you're interested you could help out like drawing them or Color Mania if you'd like to you can help out drawing them or we could make it like a big old group project where we all just draw sections of the map and uh, yeah that would be cool. Hey it's a, it's a fox it's my little foxy friend my little foxy buddy buddy where'd you go Mr. Foxy buddy did you go down there? I see that guy again with the red cape 
I don't know how I feel about that. Do I feel threatened? Do I not? There's a bird's nest in a very interesting spot. Uh, did we already go through here? Yeah, we did. Oh, we went through there so that we could open the door over here. I see. It was a big circle. It all makes sense now. And now we can shout at these fires because they're over here. They, these are the ones I was talking about that we got to shout at. Yeah. And yeah. And let's see if we do it in between them if it still works. Yeah, it does. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it's doing it. I mean, it makes stuff brighter, I guess, but... Hello? Do you remember my doodle? It was literally circles on paper denoting where each of us were with a rectangle for our... Wagons and an exit for the enemies. It looked like a football playbook. Oh! No, I didn't remember that at all because I don't think I was there for that mission. There was a uh, period of time that I took off from the game for like, I don't know, six months or so. I mean, I know you guys knew that, but like, for anybody else who's watching who maybe doesn't know, I wasn't there for uh, for a while. Um, was that recently though? Because I don't remember that. I mean, maybe if it was if it was the one e section, then like. I probably was at work or something. I might not have seen the XO thingy ma dingy that y'all did. Although you said it was the 2 e game, so I guess I would have been there. The 1E? Okay, I don't think I was there for that one. Or if it was, then I just don't remember. <laughs> but, I mean, if it's that simple, then okay, I could definitely do that. Where am I supposed to go here? Oh my god. I guess forward through the open section here. Would be a safe bet. I hope you guys enjoy listening to him shout because we're going to hear it a lot. What does this do? It's a key. No, I don't remember Bronze Dragon. So I don't think I was there for it. I think that was part of the six months where I was gone. All right, look at that. We got it in here. Oh, it's another one of these guys. It's another one of these guys. Look, it's the fox. Hello, fox. I think these might be time, so I'm going to take care of these first. Just after the matter? Okay. I see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, did that... Did they all revert? Like, go back to not doing anything then? Do I have to be in the middle of them? It looks that way. It looks like it's another one of those puzzles where I have to get them all to do it at the same time. Okay, let's go see the fox, because the fox is probably trying to guide us. But yeah, no, I don't remember uh, the bronze dragon, and so it must have been uh, must have been while I was on my little hiatus there. I guess we'll go through the golden arch. Not to be confused with McDonald's. Who is not sponsoring the stream, but they could. I mean, they might not like my stance on, you know, workers' rights and stuff, but it's not my fault I'm right. Get out of here, piggy! Get out of here! Go on, get! Also, thank you for clearing the way. I appreciate you. I can't jump over this. Piggy! 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 Get over here, piggy! Come here. Yeah. 
Ow, apparently that hurt my ass. Weird. Oh! The oopsies. Apparently that was uh, the door opened and I only had a limited amount of time to go in there. That's good to know. Which means I'm only going to have a limited amount of time to get out, but we'll make it happen. Okay. All right, I like this. Um, oh, more fire. Perfect. All right, we got that. So maybe we take it off of here now. Ah, you know what? I think I'm supposed to try to Kobe this from up here. I think that's what the game wants. Well, instead of Kobe in it, I just shacked it, so my bad. I'm sorry, everybody. I didn't mean to let you down. Wow. Am I supposed to throw it on the lower section, maybe? Wow, Red's running out of space in the house. That's, uh, that's shocking to me. Ah, I got it. Nice. Now I just need to get up there. Ah, perfect. Actually, that is a little bit shocking to me just because it seems like she never runs out of space. All right. Well, it's time to do some uh, some platforming. Yes. Woof, woof. I know. Oh, hi, Foxy. Very limited on housing slots. Ooh. See, that would be an issue for me because I take everything. I am just a big old hoarder. I hoard all the stuff. Okay, what's the... Uh... Alright. Weird. What it what did it what what does this do? This is so strange. I don't understand the puzzle. Guess I'll drop it so I can get this one. Oh. Oh, I, oh wait, that just what? It just like respawns it? Oh, uh, wait. No, I think I get it now. I th think I get it now. Ouchies. Okay, there's two of them. Now I need a third. Which must be over this way. Or not. Hmm. Alright, well that one opens that one. Alright, that opens that door. Oh, come on, I can reach get up there. Uh, 
All right, apparently I can't reach to get up there. Does this open this one up? It does. So I got that one. There's that one over there. Hmm. We'll get that one up there. Hope you guys are into, uh, you know, me doing a lot of... Oh, that's why that puzzle makes sense. Of course, of course. And I'll do this one. No, 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 no. You don't go rolling away now. No, 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 no. That is not how we're doing this. Um, yep. I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm going to grab this one, and then I'm going to put it over here. Makes perfect sense to me. Nice. We did it. Can I make this work? Oh, there. It's a different thing entirely, actually. Yay, another key. Oh, they took the bumpers off. That means I can just jump off freely now. Ouchies. Way to break your ankles, kid. Alright, time to go back over here. Because I did remember seeing there was a couple of keys. Yeah, over there on that lion. Do we get a lion friend too, or just the fox friend? Because, I mean, I guess I'm okay with either, but... All right, there's the one. And you know, I say that's a lion, but really it could be anything from like a sphinx to like anything else. It could even be a boat. But probably not. Right. So it looks like we got three buildings. Each of them have one of these guys. So we just got to, uh, you know, just uh, get them on top of the building or something. Hmm. Ah. More things to yell at. Oh, it's a pretty, uh, okay. Well, I don't think we're going to go back then. I think that, uh, we're kind of stuck over here for right now. Which, I guess that's fine, you know, whatever. I'm not, I wasn't really going anywhere anyway. What, what is it, Fox? Where are you? I don't see you. Uh-oh. Oh, I got to go down. When the answer is not up, it must be down. I'm sure somebody said that at one point or another. All right, doing the uncharted jump, and we made it. Oh, hello, Foxy. All right, um, I'm going to actually take a short break. I will be right back in the meantime. 
um, I'm going to put on some uh, some jams for you. So enjoy these tunes, and I will be back momentarily. Let me go and find my beer back screen. Um, way back.
Okay, I'm back. Thank you for your patience, folks. Sorry about the slight delay there. But we are back here with more rhyme. For no reason. But I'm going to pause this music so we can go back into this one. And listen to this music instead. Wow, look at that. It's sunrise. It's sunrise here in mysterious no-name thing. And yeah, you're right. I did get most of that ending. I just didn't realize that you had to also kill the doll. Which, like, what a goofy thing, you know? Ha! Ah. Okay, I also have to get these two, though. So, oh. Oh, I see. Oh, and there's also this guy. Well, that didn't help me at all. All right, let's go and find our little block, I guess. Yeah, uh, the, those endings were... Uh, that ending was a little bit difficult, like uh, at least for me, because it just said, like, you got to kill everybody in the house. Okay, simple enough. And then I got going into it, and I was like, okay, everybody's dead. Am I? Did I do it? Did I do the thing? And I think it was either after stream or right at the end of stream, you told me that... Uh, Oh, you got to kill the doll, too. Great. That's good to know now. But, you know, there's only so much you can do. Yeah, I cannot make that jump. Can I jump up on this guy? Just do a little cheatsy doodle? No? Okay. Yeah, right at the tail end of the stream. I probably could have given it one more go if I really wanted to. Like, if I really didn't care about being late to work. Probably could have done it. But no. Oh, hi, Fox. Hello, what are you, what are you doing there? Besides being absolutely adorable, apparently. Okay, can I jump up on here? Yes, I can. Nice. Ah, there we go. So the fox is there to give me hints. That's great to know. Oh, interesting. Very interesting indeed. is this yeah okay I see now this is gonna be really really useful don't mind me I'm just coming through the fox give you hints just like in real life <gasps> it's the prophecy this is why I didn't play this game on stream until just now <laughs> up we go By the way, what'd you guys think of Chris Pratt as Mario? I feel like that happened before I, you know, ended last stream. But like, what did you, what did you guys think of it? Because once I saw that video somebody made of, of uh, Linda Belcher, basically voicing the lines or looking like she was voicing the lines, I, that's that's what all I see now is Linda Belcher, <laughs> being Mario, which honestly. Big improvement. Personally, I think Linda Belcher would make a fabulous uh, Mario. All right, I don't know what this thing. Oh, hello. I guess this can also help if they're far away like this one. But how far away can I get it? Oh, hello. Awful Lottie is there. Yeah, Jack Black is doing great. I heard the other day... Uh, yeah, I agree. I think... 
He's doing great. Um, I heard the other day, apparently Jack Black is like doing NFTs now, which I was like, damn, we really can't have heroes. <laughs> um, but I, no, I feel like he fills out his character really great. Pick up some feedback. Oh, sorry about that. Let me see if I can, um, maybe if I turn down my audio over here, maybe that'll do it. Um, but also I was running into issues with my microphone earlier. Just let me know if there's like, uh, just keep me in the loop if that happens again. Sorry about that. Excuse me, birdie. I don't mean to keep on, you know, knocking you off of your perch and stuff, but uh, these, these are my area. But yeah, I heard he's doing NFTs and also he's like working with Autism Speaks, which is not a great foundation, believe it or not. Just a little bit of static once in a great while. Okay. Thank you for the heads up. I will keep an eye out for it. Um, yeah, I don't know what could be causing that. It might just be that my microphone needs to get replaced. This thing, I've I've had it since like 2018. Um, so it's, uh, it's getting a little bit long in the tooth. I don't have any real money to replace the microphone right now. But, uh, you know, eventually I would like to upgrade some things about my setup as well. I mean, I kind of already have multiple times, but, you know more things okay I can't get up there I feel like this is going to be another puzzle oh it's not even really that much of a puzzle I was just I didn't see that uh get up please okay thank you no I didn't want you to get up there I got an achievement called careful steps I wonder what it's for. I don't know, but I really think this puzzle is very cool. Nice. Let me just see really quick, because I want to I wanna, I wanna see. Don't smash the eggs. Okay. Apparently, I had the opportunity to smash some of those uh, those birdies' eggs, and I didn't do it. So, good for me. Damn, that thing really had a wide reach. It's pretty sick. Do I have a quick way down besides, like, just jumping to my doom? Hello, Foxy. Wah. Oh, damn. I guess I broke his ankles. That's mucho unfortunado, amigo. Love how games like this expect people to have a really good arm strength and no fear of heights. Well, duh, like, obviously, doesn't everybody have really good arm strength and zero fear of heights? Like, come on. I mean, I know I certainly do not avoid going on ladders at every single opportunity because I, uh, you know, I'm concerned that I might A, break it and B, like, <laughs> fall off of it. But also, I could probably throw a pretty okay fastball. Like, not great. Probably like, uh, I don't know, 60 miles an hour, so it's not really a fastball. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I could throw 60 miles an hour. I'm pretty sure. Ah, look at this sword. We got a little king over here, or a little queen, or whatever. It's a little royalty right next to somebody with a little red cape. Wait, that's me! I have a red cape. Ah. <gasps> The plot thickens. 
Wowee, yeah, no, I would hate this section right here if I was doing it in real life because I would have a fear that I would, like, trip or get distracted and walk a little bit too close to one side and then I'd fall off. I mean, I'm proud when I get all my groceries in one trip, but there's no way I'm lifting my head on the lift. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of how I am as well. I, I mean, as I've said before, I used to work, you know, at FedEx and I would have to lift up to 150 pounds like per package because that's their standard operating procedure and they tell you you know oh get help from a partner if you if you need any help you know lifting stuff but um, that's not really um, feasible a lot of the time uh, bottom line is uh, I'm just bragging that I used to be able to lift 150 pounds uh, not very easily but I could do it uh, but yeah I definitely couldn't lift myself up like onto any kind of ledge or anything I couldn't even really do like any kind of push-ups or anything so so yeah lifting my full body weight up on something like that I would I would need to have that same kind of adrenaline that they talk about when they tell stories about mothers saving their children pinned under cars uh, in order to lift myself up from a ledge and even then I don't think I could trust myself to do it But groceries on one trip, I do that every time. And I always wonder, why do my hands feel bad? Why why, uh, why do I feel like I get cramps like in my hands all the time? Couldn't possibly have anything to do with lifting like 40 pounds of groceries between like, I don't know, six straps that are like pulling my hands in different directions. <laughs> Definitely doesn't have anything to do with that. What's this golden ball about? Excuse me, ballin' or something. Oh, oh, it's a time machine ball. Oh, I see now. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. What does this mean? Do I need to stand on this one? Is that how that... Oh. I see. I see. I gotta be honest with you, Sly. I wouldn't even be able to do that. Because as powerful as my legs are, like... I hate being upside down. And I think it's from a young age that that came into being. Um, when I was in gym class one time, we used to have these little, like, it was like a rope ladder thing, but it was like a full net. Um, you know, with it, it was it was like a big grid made out of rope, basically. And at one time, my gym teacher, um, you know, he was doing it with, like, everybody. But, like, he put me in there. There's the person with the cape again. Um, he put me in, like, my legs into, like, one of the things and, like, had me, like, hang back. And I was terrified by that. And, again, I was, like, five years old. So, you know, I probably still would be terrified now. But I might not vocalize it quite as much. Um, oh, I used to climb trees and stuff. Yeah, no, I was never about that life. I was just, like... Where's the video games? I If you look back, like, on any kind of journal that I kept from that time or anything, I was always talking about video games and wrestling. And uh, not much has changed since kindergarten. Where the hell am I? Why is it so dark? Apparently, I am in the, in the wet. That is, uh, that is where I am. I'm in the wet. In the wet, I'm in the wet, I'm in the wet. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, I'm running through this wall. Okay. I... I still don't understand what that room was, but we're here now. But that's pretty cool, though. I was... I had ample opportunities as well. My grandparents had some pretty enormous trees in their backyard. 
And if I really wanted to, like, I definitely, like, could have taken that opportunity, but I never did. I was just like, I... I prefer being on the ground, which makes it funnier that I became a roller coaster enthusiast. Uh, like during my middle school days, I started playing roller coaster tycoon, and I was like, you know, I I wanted to be a roller coaster designer, and just like the video, I think it was Jacob Geller made about roller coaster tycoon. I didn't know the first thing about the physics or anything related to it. So I would always be confused why nobody wanted to go on my really cool roller coaster that got 15 G's and the intensity rating was 38 and a half. Um, <laughs> you know, out of a, out of a possible 16. Um, that's my, my ankles are so bad. I wasn't a great monkey. Oh, well, you know, evolution and all that stuff that happens to everybody. Uh, this guy, he's, uh, this person, he's going to have some bad ankles, too. Um, but yeah, bottom line, like, I have been terrified of heights for a long time, but I thought to myself, oh, no, I'm going to love roller coasters. And then I went on a roller coaster, and I did not love it. In fact, I had the exact opposite uh, experience. I was like, this is the worst thing I've ever had happen to me. Yeah, 15 Gs. It was wild. Like, you had, like, 15 times the force of gravity just pushing down on you. I couldn't figure out why nobody wanted to ride it and why people were consistently dying in my parks. <laughs> it definitely didn't have anything to do with me throwing them into the big lake or anything, you know? The little lake that I kept nearby for, uh, for disposing of people that I named after people that I didn't like, you know? I did that thing again, and there was, like, no place for me to go. Uh, but my other favorite thing to do in that game was to, like, uh, basically murder my guests in the park by building, like, a roller coaster that just shot them off into space. I thought that was so cool. You just, like, send them through a loop-de-loop, -loop and then they just go flying off and explode. I might have been a psychopath growing up now that I think about it. <laughs> no, no, that was a closed circuit roller coaster. This is one of those uh, like open concept kind of ones where it was like, uh, oh, if you shout at those, th oh, they break. Interesting. Um, This was like one of those ones where like you do the loop de loop that goes to the end of the track and that's supposed to go backwards and loop de loop back and then like go back into the, uh, the entrance. Um, but it did not work out that way. I was like, let's crank up the speed to like 20. And it just shot everybody off into space. And uh, not even space. Just uh, just off into into a ground. Like, uh, you know, not very far away from the roller coaster, in fact. And then I would wonder why I had so much trouble completing any of the missions. Hello there, red robe person. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I mean, I in the time since I've played Roller Coaster Tycoon, I uh, I do not do that anymore. But I don't blame you for not wanting to uh, attend my park. That's not a great track record. So you're like, I would have to testify before Congress about that. So uh, you're saying that you uh, you intentionally put these people on a roller coaster that you knew would propel them into orbit. Yes, I did. And uh, why did you do that? For fun. I think I would have been locked up forever. <laughs> More current Futurama. But yeah, exactly. Well, the, I didn't realize it was a thing until I watched that video about Roller Coaster Tycoon. But somebody made a ride in that game called Mr. Bones' Wild Ride, um, which in the game, it was basically like one of these really slow roller coasters and it was really big. Um, but it was like one of those ones that had like the cars on it. I don't know if you're familiar with the game, but there's this type of ride that was like just cars. Um, and you basically would just you'd go on a slow, leisurely little ride. And... Uh, they set up the track such that it took four years in game for it to complete a single like time through the through the track. 
And the meme that came out of it was people would say, I want to get off Mr. Bone's wild ride. And uh, yeah, I think that we're still living in that uh, that era, basically. But yeah, they wouldn't be able to get food or anything like that. They just sit there and say, I want to get off Mr. Bone's wild ride. You couldn't get off until the ride ended. Or I guess if you had to shut it down, but the whole point is to kind of, you know, do that. They said there was another one, too, that was not quite the same as Mr. Bone's wild ride. But I'll be damned if I can remember it. Because I think the other one was, like... Kind of like the one I told you guys about where it was like 15 G's and people were just like getting really sick or something. I don't I don't remember. But um, I want to look it up really quick because I don't want to credit the wrong person. Um, roller Coaster Tycoon. Yeah, Jacob Geller. It's the strange reality of Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'll put it in chat for you guys in case you're interested. You can go check it out. Not right now cuz I'm I'm here, but definitely check it out. It's it's He's one of my favorite essayists on YouTube. And I think he did a really good job with that video because when I was considering doing video essays, which is not to say I'm not doing considering that anymore, but when I thought about it initially, I thought Roller Coaster Tycoon would be a really cool one to do because it's kind of a capitalist hellscape when you think about it. Because you can charge people to go in the bathroom and like lock them in your park and stuff like that. Um, I have no fucking idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Where is my little foxy friend? Am I supposed to try to like light all of these up? I don't know where more of them would be. I guess we just have to run through and find out. Man, I can't wait to get back out into the daylight. That's what I'll say about that. Well, that's not the daylight. That's down a steep cliff. Dang it. Oh, well. But yeah, I really like uh, Jacob Geller's um, essays there. Another one that I watched yesterday was uh, In Praise of Shadows, who I think it's completely wild that they follow me on Twitter. Um, but they did a video about um, Pumpkinhead, which is, in my opinion, a very underrated horror series. Well, the first one is underrated. I don't really... I don't think I saw the other ones that came after the first one, so I am a little bit uh, I, I'm not in the know about the sequels, but I do know that the original was great. It's a great revenge demon story. Am I afraid of the dark? Maybe. Don't climb down into the. There's nothing down there. There's nothing down there. Why are you trying to climb down in there? Yeah, I might have a little bit of a phobia of the dark. What of it? Um. Woo! I made it. Good. Alright. Yeah, I feel like that's a universal thing for, well, at least for a lot of people is uh, fear of the dark just because it's the unknown I think that's what makes horror like uh, like Lovecraft so effective uh, or like you know some folks um, get freaked out by the concept of like space or 
or um you know just things that the the unknown and i feel like you know being afraid of the dark that makes perfect sense in that regard i think i literally have to light up everything in here there's scary stuff in the dark there is i'm glad that i haven't found any of it yet Everything is hiding in the dark. Especially all the things I'm supposed to yell at. Someone let T-Rex out of his cage. I admit it's quite alarming. It doesn't look like Barney. And I don't think I'll be coming back again. Oh no. You let Rexy out? Oh my god. Why would you do that, Sly? Don't you know? Don't you know it's a terrible idea to let the T-Rex out? No! Stop trying to climb down. That's not gonna work. Well, actually, it might it might be a good, pretty good idea. Now that I think about it, really. But yeah, it never works. Letting the teeth, oh, motherfucker. Okay, you need you need more teeth. Why oh, would you need more teeth? I I can't even fathom that. I'm slowly turning into Jordan Peterson. Hello, strange person. Consider the lobster. And uh, and also, I'm pretty sure I'm running into a wall. Okay. Well, I'm going to go back over here now. Need to kill the Indominus Rex? I don't even know what that is. I don't even know if I pronounced that correctly. It's kind of embarrassing that I'd be friends with Red for 20 years and not know every single dinosaur in the world, actually. Um, I'm going to jump down here. This becomes much easier when I can see everything. Well, sort of see everything. Alright, can I find more lights? Uh, okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to get down that way. Can you guys see every, anything, like, at all? Because I'm, like, completely, like, I can't see anything. Oh, I got an achievement. The Path of Light. What does that mean? Uh, bring light to the Labyrinth of Darkness. Yay, I got it. I honestly don't know if that's a real dino or something Jurassic Park franchise cooked up. Oh. Well, then that makes two of us, because I also don't know. Man, I sure am glad we had these illuminated paths, at least. I would have been dead. D E D dead. Is there a separate entrance over here? Because I felt like the entrance looked a lot larger than it is. No, it's just this entrance. There's a down. I could have gone down this whole time. I don't know if I want to. That looks like it might be a little bit. Well, I don't think I have a choice now that I look at it. Now that I, okay, just did a somersault, landed on my feet, ricochet style. I'm the person that gravity forgot. That's a, that's Pac, not, not ricochet. Hey. Hey. Hey, you, what the hell? You didn't get excited about my shouting. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that, that sounds fake to me, but I don't actually know. Ooh, look, it's little uh, illuminated foxes with little clouds. Kind of looks like Naruto styled things. Is this game going to end up ripping off Naruto? Is that a thing? Do I have to worry about spoilers? I still don't know what happened with Sasuke. Don't fucking tell me what happened with Sasuke. I 
had to give up my Hulu subscription, and now I'm only 500 episodes into Shippuden. Hello there, strange person. Who's definitely not the devil. Ah. Yeah! In this forum more than me? Okay, well. Ah. Then I will try not to spoil it for you. Ah. But there's a lot of filler. <laughs> That's the one thing I've learned from that show is uh, filler is very prominent. And I think I heard rumors that they're going to do a remake without all the filler episodes, which I would be, I would be totally for. You read the manga? Oh, well, la di da. Uh, some of us uh, can't can't read uh, at all, like Rath Gerther. Have you ever considered that? Hmm. Definitely not me. I learned how to read at a something level. I actually found this really useful writing tool while I was writing my script for the Saw video that I might still make. I read faster than I watch TV. That, I, I mean, that's impressive. I I can't say the same. Um, but I found this tool while I was writing the Saw script um, called Hemingway, which grades how you write on like a level of I guess how easy it is to understand and it goes like first grade or kindergarten through uh, college level and when I was writing it it said that I was at like a, a fourth or fifth grade level and I was like that's probably good right because that means it's easier to understand my ideas but then I figured I might not want to go around bragging that I write at a fifth grade level <laughs> Wow, we got to the big old door here. Don't say no. What does that mean? Well, whatever it means, we're in the snow now. Oh no, my nation state is about to die because I haven't checked on it in a month. <gasps> my cape! I knew something looked different. No, get back here. Get back here, Cape. You son of a bitch. You stupid asshole. How dare you run away from me? I was going to come over here anyway. Why did we go from a regular old area like in springtime to the winter now? Been here for 400 years. I've been waiting for you to return. Ah, motherfucker. So close. And yet so far away. Oh, that looks threatening. That doesn't look good. I thought we had just gotten out of the dark. Now we're heading back into it. I want to check out what this achievement was really quick. Leave your comfort zone. Okay, apparently I left my comfort zone. I don't know what that means. And I'm willing to admit it, so I guess maybe that's leaving my comfort zone. Mm. I need to make more coffee. I'm probably going to have to log off here pretty soon, too, because it's almost 1.30 and i got to hit the grocery store. i got to go buy food to cut up and make and cook for lunch or dinner or whatever we're going into now. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, I'm in Medusa's lair. Hello. Oh. Well then, I guess I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep moving here. Do 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 do. Hi there, Foxy. Going at the store it doesn't mean. To... Going at the store it doesn't mean to be an energy vampire. Hold on a second, I'm computing.
I think this door does mean to be an energy vampire, actually. I think that's actually a function of capitalism. Um, is that they want to make you stressed so that you, uh, you know, buy more stuff because you think of the, the worst case scenario or something. I don't know what I'm going on about. Never mind. I'm doing conspiracy theories now and that is not, it, not what anybody meant at all. Don't physically assault the store. Oh, okay. Well, okay. I won't. This time. I thought you meant don't hate the store and there was just a typo there. I don't know. Oh, look. It's a big bird. A big, scary looking bird. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, yeah. I mean, that is true. Unless I could just go for the cereal boxes. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Flame. Thank you. Gosh, I just ran by and yelled. Ah, why do I hate cereal? Because, you know what? Cereal knows what it did to me. And that's all I need to say about that. Cereal knows why I hate it. Because one time, I'm going to go into the story now. One time. When I was six years old, there was a toy that I wanted. It was supposed to be in a box of Lucky Charms. And guess what? It wasn't there. The audacity. I mean the audacity of that fucking leprechaun to go on there and say, Oh yeah, it's in every box. It was not in every box. Oh no! The statue broke. Oh no, there's a big old bird here, and he is not happy to see me. Crikey! What a beauty! That's not your egg at all, but you sure are treating it like it is. <laughs> that was such a weird mix of accents. All right, governor, I think that we need to do certain things in order to get that, uh, them, their golden ball back. What the fuck? Now it's... Wait. I don't understand. Now it's, now it's a desert. He's just a little guy. No, he's very much not. He's very much a big guy. Uh, okay. Never mind. I don't want this quite as much as I thought I did. All right, that was a terrible idea. He can fly, you can't. Or she can fly, I guess. It seems like it's more like a mama bird. Where the fuck am I? Oh, I'm the little guy, yes. Yes, I am the little guy in this situation. Oh God, why? Why, is it too hot here? Do I need to? Okay, the bird got me. I see now. My mistake was I didn't run between the buildings fast enough. Aha! You can't get me from in here, probably. Nope. No, you don't. Is that a little worm? Oh, it's a little salamander. Now those are the little guys. Um, I'm just gonna run over here. Ah. I wish I could look up so I could see the bird, but I can't. What's back here? Oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. Ha! Ah! There's feedback again? I wonder if it's like too close to my mouth or something. Like.
So is it like actually like a feedback sound or is it like staticky? I feel like you told me this before, but like I'm a terrible listener. Because if it's just like if it's if it's um if it's that I'm talking too loud and it's making it feedback, then I could probably just stop talking quite so loud. No, 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 Don't mind me, I'm just running in between these buildings. Um, I guess I gotta go down in here. No, no you don't, no you don't. No, 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 no. I feel like there's gonna be something that I need to grab that's gonna cause me to go really slow. And that's gonna be the thing that really screws me over. <laughs> Who is barking? I mean, I know there's only one thing that could be that's barking, but... Oh, hello, Foxy. Can I shout at the wall? That's not going to do anything? Okay. Hello, Foxy. What an interesting mechanic. Yay, I got that. Lighten up. What is that? Lit many lights. Yay. I thought there might be an achievement for that. Is it still going, Sly, or is it gone now? Alright, so going by this, I need to power one of these. Still coming and going? Okay. Um, well, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Why would there be feedback? I think it is just the mic. Maybe if I like put it back a little bit further. Eh, I don't know. That looks like it's like. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I think you're right. I think it might just be the mic. You know, fucking technology, man. Fucking technology. Okay, where am I going with this again? Where's my little foxy buddy? I feel like it must be back there. No, you don't. Crap. I don't think we're making it over here. Oh, we made it. Oh, good. Good, good. We're good. Okay, we did it. We did it. Yeah, I don't know what could be causing that. It got louder with the incoming... Oh, 
I mean, that could be what it is then, because, like, it is kind of crackly over here, like, anytime that happens. I think it's just, like, the bass might be too loud then in here. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. We'll give this a shot for a little while, see how that works. I couldn't hear that over the screams on my side, but yeah, horror movies for the win. What screams? Are you talking about... Wait, no, I think I understand you. I'm sorry. You're talking about like where he says, ha! Huh? Oh, I didn't know that. I was not aware. I think I watched the first Terrifier, but I can't remember. Um, am I supposed to have this facing a certain way? I guess to this. Puzzles, I love puzzles. They're puzzles. Okay. Okay, look over there. Wait, what? So do I have to have this walking there? Okay. And then what? I block over here? Well, I guess that makes sense. Of course I like horror movies, Dragon. Who the hell do you think I am? But yeah, I do. Oh, I don't really have a favorite. Um, which is kind of a cop-out, but I really don't. Um... What would I say my favorite horror movie is? Oh gosh, I'm stuck. Um, I gotta think about this for a second. I think. I think The Thing is my favorite horror movie. And I'll tell you why. Because the special effects in that movie are fantastic. And if there's one thing I love, it's good practical effects. So for that reason, I'm going to say The Thing, the 1980s remake, is uh, probably my favorite horror movie. What is your favorite? I don't have anywhere to hide here. Oh. Black cloud of death. No, I think it's without a doubt they're better than CG. Like, to me, it's no question. Just like for whatever reason, there is just, it's so much. And I mean, I've done stuff with like computer generated graphics and stuff. Like, I know how difficult like doing that is, but there's just something about the practical effects that are so much cooler. Just because somebody was able to do that with like, I don't know, some latex and other really cool, like other, other really basic stuff. Um,. Like, there's so much stuff in the thing that doesn't seem like it should be possible to make that they just did. Um, 
So yeah, the thing is, uh, it's one of my favorites, if not my favorite. I'm supposed to go somewhere here, and I don't know where. Alien, there's been scenes where the guy is running in a trash bag. Yeah. I liked, um, I mean, I liked the story behind the chest burster. I think that was a really fun one. I just think there's something that you get out of practical effects that you don't get out of somebody running around in a mocap suit. Which, again, you still have to do a lot of acting when you're in a mocap like suit. And there's something to be said for that. Um, but just like the gore and stuff you can achieve just by like some paint and some corn syrup and stuff is just wild. I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to go here. Oh. Of course. Of course, of course. Where else would I supposed to be going? Jeez. That's, uh, that's a little bit tricky there. I don't feel too great about that. Can I shout at it? No? Guess not. Um, I guess I gotta go this way. And we're safe. Um, yeah, but that that whole series, Alien, Predator, um, all of those had great practical effects. Um, obviously, they came around more during the time when there was uh, kind of a, what do you call it there, transition into uh, motherfucker. <laughs> more of a transition into um, um, CG, but... Um, I still think they were great in terms of practical effects and stuff. There's a block? Nightmare on Elm Street 1984 for sure. Yeah. I think the original was really cool in that one. I think that if in that whole series, I got to go with number two. What the fuck? Okay, apparently I'm not supposed to go that way. There's a block I keep walking past? Really? Oh, oh, I see now. Okay, yep, I'm a dummy. Um, but yeah, I think out of all the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, number three is probably my favorite, which I think is a uh, um, pretty common take. I think a lot of people... Oh, bye-bye, birdie. I think a lot of people really like that one, but it's just, it's so creative with a lot of the things that it does. And uh, for a long time, yeah, Dream Warriors, for a long time, um, I also thought that the last one uh, in the Robert England, like the original Robert England movies, I used to think that was like the worst one. Um, you know, the one with, uh, I think it's called Freddy's Dead. Um... I used to think that one was terrible, but then me and my fiance rewatched it not super long ago, and it was actually pretty funny. <laughs> uh, what's up with these folks here? Hi, are you uh, you okay? Uh, okay, kind of weird that you'd react that way to me. I don't think I'm that scary. Oh, you're just like melting into nothing and then coming back and then... Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be scared of these or not. I don't know if they're hostile. Okay. The ghoulies. Dark humor is great. I just don't have it much anymore. Yeah, I, I'm definitely not as edgy as I used to be when I was younger. I feel like anyway. That's what I was thinking of. Is like maybe they're, maybe they like try to attack you when you turn around, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I'm really confused as to what their purpose is. Maybe they don't have a purpose. Maybe that's their purpose. Okay. Well, you know what. Um. 
<laughs> Just dropping down into nothing. They succeeded. Your, their purpose is to confuse and baffle you. Ah, damn. They want another one, those sneaky sons of mothers. Can I shout, please? Look, I see a flame down there. I want to make it... I want to make it brighter. Please. Please. No? Okay. Oh, I can climb up on there. Well, that's good to know. Would have been useful to know a little while ago. But hey, I guess uh, I guess we can we can make this work. Yeehaw! Okay, can I shout at the flames now? <clears throat> shout at the fire, or don't, or don't shout. Just stand there and don't do anything person whose name I don't even know. Ah. That one worked. You know what's silly is I'm worried that I'm missing something in these areas. And this does not seem like a game where you would collect stuff. Oh, good thing I landed there. Wait, no, I'm wrong. I am totally supposed to collect stuff. There was a whole bunch of coins. In oh, wow. Oh, wow. There are collectibles in this game, and I'm just a dummy. Good to know. All right. Hey, look at that. Now I'm going to have to go back and play this game again. Wow, I just ran into that wall. Can I get over there somehow? I guess over this way. But yeah, if their whole point was to confuse me, mission accomplished. I was so confuzzled. Eh, let's just do a somber salt. I think I came in from that way. Yeah, back in the day, I feel like I was a lot edgier, a lot more uh, into, like you said, uh, dark humor uh, dragon. And now I'm uh, maybe not so much. I find sarcasm even annoying, and that's my most used move. So it just all feels very lazy and very, very much the same. Now, you know, like at some point, it's just being cruel to be cruel. And I'm just so tired of the cruelness. The cruelty, even. I didn't expect to be in an underwater situation here. I sure hope I don't drown. Alright. Hey, we made it out. Um, oh, we still have our birdie friend to worry about, though. Okay, we got to get all the way over there <laughs> somehow without getting attacked by this bird. Dive, dive, dive. Oh, hey, what the heck? Are these like oxygen bubbles? Oh, well, that's going to make things a little bit easier. I think. Probably going to hell with some... I mean... Maybe. I'm not saying that I never said anything that would get me, uh, you know, sent to hell if hell was a real thing. But, like, it's just after a while, it's just... It's just too easy, you know? Like, look at where we are right now. It's like, yeah. Stuff is terrible. 
and it doesn't show much sign of like getting better so maybe uh maybe maybe we don't do all the stuff you know that uh, we were doing before where it's like oh yeah could you imagine a nuclear apocalypse yeah um this was a mistake oh good there's one right there come on hurry up oh thank you three-eyed night fox dang that sounds pretty cool I won't lie. Oh, yeah, we made it inside. Don't mind uh, that. That's just the sound of the people mowing the lawn. If you could even hear it. They just decided to buzz by my window. Okay, we got all the lights on in here. Got a wave. Oh, wait. Nope. There's one more. Ah. Got a little boat on a wave. Okay. That's good to know. Um. Let's just go this way. There's nothing this way. Oh, I tried Dead by Daylight for the first time in like two months yesterday, by the way, and I got my ass kicked. I am so rusty. You can call me Rusty Shackleford. All right, let's see. Uh, nope, dive. Yeah, I played Huntress and I couldn't hit any of my hatchets. And it was just a. Uh, it was not a fun time for me. Go over here. Man, water levels, huh? They're always the toughest. Oh, there's a, a key. A key breaky heart, as some might say. I don't know why you would say it in that context, but you could. Um, I can't reach it for whatever reason. Let's take a look at this. There should be some kind of a puzzle here. Hmm. Oh. Or maybe I just need to... Climb this? No? Hello game, what do you want of me? What do you require of me? I can't tell. Mm. Sell us your soul. Man, I sold my soul back like in the, the fucking 2006. didn't work out because people remember George Bush fondly. <laughs> but I mean, if you want to pay me for it, you can have it. It's just like, you know, just 
you know, the cost of an Amazon sub or something like that, or, you know, if you want to leave a tip on, on Kofi or something, you know, you could do that. Um, you don't get much for it, but you get the knowledge that you helped me out. I'm just going to go underneath and right back above and now I'm going towards all these jellyfish who are not going to help me at all. I read Night Fox and I immediately thought of Night Wolf from uh, Mortal Kombat. Very different concepts there. This is the place I was literally just at. I gotta go to the other side first. Maybe that's the thing. Yeah, it looks like that's the play. If this turns out to be the room I already went in, I'm going to be very upset. Ah, it's not good. My phone is going off because I'm supposed to be going to work right now, but I'm not actually because today is not one of my days to work. Another puzzle. Alright, I uh, definitely got it to look where I think it's supposed to look. Oh! Well, now I'm just shooting myself in the foot. Alright, let's grab this. Yoink! I can't shout at those flames. All right, so we got one. Now we just need to go and get the other one. Which requires us to figure out what the hell is going on with that other uh, puzzle. Nice of them to leave all these air bubbles just like littered around the ground at least. Just went around in a big ass circle. All right, time to put this over here. 
There's the one. Let's see if that changes the puzzle on the other side of the map. the other key and now they're going through with the weed whacker as well wow i sure do love that how they're running a weed whacker under the water but you guys probably don't even hear that but we got somebody doing the weed whacking outside we got somebody running the mower right next to them they're like hanging out together they're like bros seems kind of redundant at the moment you know having them so close together but Did I miss anything here? I feel like there has to be something that I didn't see. You don't hear them? Okay. Well, as long as you don't hear them, I don't really mind that you're lurking and stretching and stuff. The important thing is that you don't hear the people running their obnoxious lawnmowers and stuff. As far as I can tell, there's, like, nowhere else for me to go. I don't think I can make that jump. Which is impressive because one of my mics can pick up the train from two blocks away. Damn. That is pretty impressive. Although I do have a lot of effects on here so that you're not supposed to be able to hear stuff going on like in the background. Like I have a fan that's been running this whole time that you probably haven't been able to hear either. Spider. This little jumping spider that we've had in our fucking office for weeks now just dropped down from my speaker and now he's just hanging out near the tower just being trying to blend in and stuff I'm just gonna leave him alone he's too fast for me I've tried to like catch him before there's no point But 
but also I should probably try to capture him and put him outside or something. He really is just vibing, you're right. He's not trying to cause anybody any harm except for maybe the flies that come through here. Which, honestly, fuck the flies that come through here. I'm missing something. I don't know what it is. It's going to be something really obvious, and it's going to make me very upset when I find out. I was thinking to myself, oh, what's over this way? Turns out it's just that it leads you back outside. Disgusting. Yeah, that crackling noise, I hear that too, if that's what you're talking about with feedback. Yeah, I think that's just because, like, for whatever reason, the bass is just, like, too bassy. Posture check, okay. Oy. Sitting up straight cause it's good for me. watching at home you be sure to sit up straight as well don't mind me i'm just getting grumpy because i'm hungry and i don't know what the hell i'm looking for might as well have to run and hydrate okay that probably would help actually angry man yeah angry welcome master steak how are you how are you today? Me, I'm doing fine. I'm just Jim Dandy. I'm definitely not lost trying to figure out how to beat this puzzle.
I am not lost. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm definitely not in any need of assistance. You're right. You are completely correct. And I'm definitely not going to feel like a giant dummy when I see what the uh, actual answer is to this. To this puzzle. Because um, I'm supposed to get up there. But I don't know how. Hydrate. Because that probably isn't how it works. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe if I turn up the brightness a little bit, because I also am having a hard time seeing. Um, see, I can't jump up here. There's more. There was a ledge right in front of me. And now I hear the distortion again, so don't adjust your set. This game is just too loud for whatever reason. Uh, I, I knew, I knew it was going to be something right in front of me. And I couldn't figure out where it was going to be, but I just, I had a feeling... Um, apparently I can't reach over there, so I'm just gonna jump. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe that whole time there was an answer right there. I just literally had to turn around and jump up on there, and I would be good. I am so embarrassed. Good thing I did that hydrate, though, so that I could, you know, be like, I don't know where to go. Oh. See if my water bottle was still as heavy as it was when I started drinking it. I would have smashed it against my head right now and you would be watching Unconscious Ron. <laughs> Although that's not really, you know, TOS. Apparently you can't sleep on stream on Twitch, which used to be a thing like I'd see all the time was people sleeping on Twitch. It was a very strange phenomena. Phenomena. Bam, bam, banana. But people do that on TikTok now. Oh, really? They're not supposed to. You're supposed to be conscious when you're streaming. I guess people just don't pay attention, though. Because you're also not supposed to be streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. And uh, here we go. Didn't Snoop Dogg leave his on forever? Uh, maybe. I think you get away with it if you're a celebrity. Not if you're, you know... Me. Snoop Dogg was just like, yeah, no, it's off. Alright, let's get this thing that opened up finally. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I spent at least an hour longer on this fucking level than I should have. Ha! Ah. Ah. Something new. It's so great. It's so wonderful. Oh my god, we might see daylight again. And not just a water temple. Um, I'm just gonna run in here. As long as he doesn't pull a dark side fill and start crying in front of the camera unaware. Yeah! Yeah, let's hope he doesn't do that, shall we? Okay, this thing needs to move somewhere. But where? Um, hmm. 
But where? I guess I gotta move it like in front of one of these statues. Ah, yep, there it is. Just shout, dude. Come on. Sheesh. Oh, this is gonna be another one of those ones where I gotta like shout and all of them gotta turn on at once. Okay. Okay, okay, so I really do gotta figure out where this guy's gotta go. Boys and girls, if you're gonna be a streamer, be aware of the camera at all times. Yep, that's why I just cover mine up every time I'm done with stream. It's the only way to be sure. Only way to be sure. Okay, let's see where the perfect place to put this would be. Aha, we got it. Nice. Unless you're VTube, like, I know how that works. Yeah, I don't know how people do VTube. Like, but I know people who do it. No, there's more water. No, I don't want water. Like, our friend Star does VTube. Like, she has a whole model rigged up and everything. It's really cool, but, like, I... Uh, that's too much work for me. You will probably never see a VTube of Megaron TV. Oh, it's just, like, a facial recognition thing. You just, like... Um, I'm, I'm oversimplifying it, but basically you have to like rig up the, the, the thing, the, the model, um, to, uh, um, I can't even explain it very well, but basically it takes a lot of work to, to do it is the bottom line. So the folks who do do them are like. To me, it's it's just absolutely wild that you would. I mean, I get it because privacy, but it's just wild to me that, like, you'd be able to. I guess is the thing I'm trying to say here. This is gonna be another one where it's stuck in one of the golden, like, doodads, isn't it? You don't see me. Never mind, you do. Um, not a big fan of the fact they started me out here, but hey. Ugh. Yeah, um. Ah, fuck. I hate when it feels like something's stabbing me in the eyeball. I mean, I know I'm in the minority who doesn't like feeling like they're getting stabbed in the eyeball, but I really don't like it. It's the whole point of having glasses. They're supposed to stop from the stop all the uh, the debris and stuff. If you're delirious or dream type, but with VTubing and you don't show your face besides VTubing, do you have to worry of it somehow revealing your actual face? Um. So. I'm not going to lie, that one right over my head. You mean Star isn't an adorable little anime girl with a cute, perfectly done hair? Surprisingly, no. And I know that I'm not supposed to say that because we're, you know, in a D&D &D group together. And, uh, you know, we have some semblance of, uh, you know... Um, what do you call it there? There's uh, there are some rules, but uh, I'm going to be perfectly frank. Star is uh, not a uh, is not just a little adorable anime girl with like perfect hair all the time. She's just not, and there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, like I don't know how people do it. Like it just seems like it's such a you're such a big stickler for not showing your actual face and as your brand basically isn't it risky being a VTuber? 
it could be. Um, if your software malfunctions, then definitely. Um, I see. I don't actually know though. Like, I don't know if it actually does like a webcam. Like, it does capture your face. Is the thing. Um, so I guess there is a slight possibility, but I, um, I don't know. You have a good point there, though. If you don't want to reveal your face, then there is probably a chance that uh, it could be compromised. Um, but I, I really don't know. I've never used that program before. Okay, I see these golden things up here. But like, oh, so da it's a fucking ledge again, a fucking ledge. Am I surprised? No. Yeah, I don't know. It's entirely possible. I mean, people have seen Star's face. Like, it's not like Star is a is a delirious or anything like that. Where she's, uh, you know, she you don't want. You know, basically, she's never shown her face before. Uh, I think she shows her face on TikTok pretty frequently, but, like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know anything about Dream. I just know that he looks a lot like Matt Pat, and that's kind of it. And whatever. Like, I saw his, uh, his thing, his post on, um, I don't know if that was, like, misinformation or not, though. Like, um... Oh, what was it? Somebody posted a thing that was like... What the hell was it? I think it was about Kanye West's like, tweet or something like that. He said something that was like not okay. And I was like, yeah, I'm not surprised. Minecraft streamers, you know, kind of are that way sometimes. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I've seen the real star on Twitter once. Yeah, yeah. Or did you? Is that just her body double? You'll never know. But yeah, I did see that like he uh, he got a lot of shit for his face. It's just like it, whatever. It's a face, dude. Like he looks like everybody else, as far as I'm concerned. Although he does have like the Matt Pat look. It's kind of funny. Okay, so what do I got to do with this now? I got to move this over here. And I guess that will probably... I got to do so much with lighting in this game. It was a real tweet? Oh. Bummer. I mean, again, I didn't really have that much like hope for... Him being, like, any kind of good person or anything. I don't know. if He might even be, like, a decent person aside from his political views. But, I mean, I guess that would make him not a very good person. But, anyway. I don't know if he was trolling or not. Yeah, I don't know either. It doesn't really matter to me one way or another. Like, I didn't know this person before this. I, I'm not going to follow his content now. Like, it, it literally does not affect me at all. But I just remember, like, seeing his face reveal and being like, okay, he's definitely got that Matt Pat, the Matt Pat look, I guess. But, like, I don't think Matt Pat is a particularly, like, ugly person, I suppose. Like, I don't know. I didn't really understand why he got as much crap for it as he did. I literally only thing hear things here and there about him, but he's not someone I seek out. Yeah. Yeah, like, I just know that he's a streamer and that he does Minecraft stuff, and that's literally all I know about him. So, that's all I care to know about him. <laughs> I don't really care. Look at the building is flooding. We did it, everybody. We did it. Wow. We scared away the birdie. Wee! Ow, my kneecaps. 
I guess I gotta push this over here so I can grab this ledge. Thank you for denoting the ledge clearly this time and pointing me right at it instead of being like, I trust you to look at the ledge. Don't ever trust me to look at the ledge. I will not do it. Hello, Birdie. I can't get over there and I died. Hope you know the ledge. I do now. Gosh, my nose is all runny and stuff. Get the cannonball. I just did a fucking cannonball. How'd you like that? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be any words necessary. I just got a message about something, I don't know what, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. Maybe I do have to go down this way, because I can't go back up. I guess this is just how I get out of here. You know, the way I came in. Yeah, it looks like it. They'd like to discuss your car's extended warranty. Look, I'm not discussing my car with anybody. I'm perfectly happy with my cell phone service. Sort of. Uh, what other things do they scam you on? I don't even know. I've started blocking so many numbers. I've gotten things from, like, people saying that they're Walmart or Best Buy, and they'll put, like, weird characters in the email, like, from line or whatever, and I'm just like, who falls for this? Like, I know I'm an old man, but, like, I'm not that old. Jeez. Oh, hello, jellyfish. I guess I can't go this way. Aw, oh, shucks. So, where do I gotta go now? I think we did all of them, didn't we? Have we not done that one yet? I think we got all of them. I guess I'm mistaken. Look, there's the fox. The fox will tell us. What does the fox say? Hello, ghosties. Okay, goodbye, ghosties. Please continue to not hurt me. I'm very grateful you haven't murdered me yet. Would prefer that you don't change that behavior. Ah, yep, there's more. Depends on Fox, Jamie, Michael J. Okay, I guess that's fair. Lady Kiernan on TikTok? She does layers. Um, I don't think I've seen her. Maybe I have. I'll have to look her up. Ah! If you're uh if you're following me on there, you could send me one of the videos. It's uh Megaron TV as it is everywhere else. Ah! Um, but I feel like that name looks familiar. I just can't remember offhand. Just be aware, if I ever send you any videos, it's going to be one that's like five minutes long because that's the way. I am old, so I'm not on TikTok. Oh, you just know about TikTok and people on it. I see. Jamie would blame it on the a a a alcohol. Yeah, well, you know. Oh, just lighting up all the lights with my breath. Apparently, I have really stinky breath. Dang, that is just out of my reach. Sad day. Nocta's on there. I just see stuff on Twitter. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I know Nocta's on there. Um, I follow her page, and I think she follows mine as well. But, like, 
Oh, there's another ledge up here. I'm not the only person in the world who doesn't use TikTok. No, no mass mistake, believe it or not. You and a few other people don't use TikTok. Believe it or not. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more difficult, I feel like. All right, great. He's uh, capable of breaking those boat ones. Okay. I'd like it if I could please get underneath those. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, why don't you use TikTok, Master Steak? Jeez. You're a youth, right? Alright, that was not the way to go. Define youth. I don't know. Younger than me. <laughs> if I need another black hole time, so I'll cut your head. Find something else. That's fair. Ah, Foxy. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. So you're a youth. Yeah, I really like TikTok just because it seems like it's the only, like, social media thing that I, like, use that I end up feeling better having used it. And also the algorithm is creepy good at, like, predicting things I would like, so... I don't know. It's probably actually really bad that I use it and that anybody else uses it, let alone billions of people, but... Yeah, I do definitely use it. Like, anytime I, um... Anytime I'm going to sleep or anything like that, and I've had like a particularly bad day, I know that I can go on TikTok and I'll find like some kind of videos that will make me laugh or, you know, just, just dumb stuff that like is, uh, you know, not very highbrow like or anything like that. It's just, uh, it just makes me happy, you know? Oh God, don't bother me, please. TikTok's not for me. I've just seen too much stuff that made me cringe. That's totally fair. I have seen a lot of cringy stuff on Twi TikTok as well. But I've also... That's kind of... Uh, helped me in being like not... Like in not caring quite so much about that kind of stuff. Like... Like yeah, there's still stuff where I'll watch it and I'll be like wow buddy did you need to say that but it's not as um like I don't feel it as much about myself you know okay uh there is nowhere to go yeah that sucks see him everywhere but it feels really ramping on TikTok well I feel like again it just kind of depends on which Areas of the internet you kind of hang out in. But I get what you're saying. I just totally <laughs> missed everything. Okay. Where should I be going? I guessed under here. Okay. I just went the wrong way. <laughs> Twitter is full of... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so just don't go on there for anything political. Like, I find a lot of people do, like, LGBT, like, joy kind of posting and, like, things of that nature. And I, I find that really inspiring. Or, like, there'll be a lot of people doing, like, weird dances and stuff. and Yeah. I don't know. I just... Th I, there's just something about it that I really enjoy. But I also understand that it's not everybody's thing, so... Consider leaving Twitter so many times now. Yeah. 
Well, that is another thing is that Twitter is like a cesspool now. Like you get all the fucking there's so many like evil people on Twitter, like legitimately fucking evil. Leave me alone, birdie. Leave me alone. And I'm not saying there ain't evil people on TikTok or like just like mean people on TikTok, but like it's just so easy to get like not see them like with Twitter. You can block them and stuff, but like people are still going to be talking about them. On TikTok, you can pretty much just, like, totally shut them out, like, entirely. You don't have to see them or anything. I don't know. Like I said, that's just kind of my thing is, like, I think it's, I think it's a decent platform. All right, I hope that's correct. Can you please shout at that guy? Please. He is right there. I know that he can hear you. But yeah, there's been many times where I've thought about just like leaving Twitter because it's just awful. Facebook is actually fine if you don't have that crazy relative who believes certain races have space lasers. Um, well, unfortunately now everybody has that family member. So that's, that's the main issue. I think <laughs> must not have found yours yet. Oh no. I'm sure you, I'm sure like it's somebody that you don't even like think about in a political way. Hello, Birdie. I mean, it is possible, I guess, that you, they just might not be on Facebook. But no, I, I think everybody's got somebody like that in their family. What the fuck did extending that even do for me? Um, can I turn it and hit the bird? No. Well, what the hell was the point of that? Hmm. I wonder if I have to turn like all of the, all of them to sunlight. Because I can get all of them to moon. Can I adjust the light at all? Where's the light even? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, we're pretty much just moving a giant blunt in the shadows. You're right. The Wild Conspiracy Facebook group posting relative. I dread having to see it. Yeah. Maybe I'm just like broadcasting out of everybody kind of what I think their families are like because I've played on like I, I like I've worked in my job for long enough that I've seen so many people who believe these same things that I'm just like, yeah, no, they're everywhere. When in reality, they're just on my uh, on the website at my job. Is this where I came in? I think it was. Ah, shit. All right, so I think I have to like get some bells up here. Hello, Birdie. Are you just watching me? Yeah, I know. Brar. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a tick. Wait, 
That didn't do anything though, did it? Well, I guess I just don't know many people's like families and stuff like that, but like I just kind of assume that everybody's got that wild relative. I may have that relative, but he's not on Facebook and he's also an alcoholic, so he really just thinks that his doctors are wrong and it's not the booze running or his meds look useless. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that's a lot of fun to uh, deal with. Okay, so we need this one. Sun. That one moon. I think we need to do it so it's like moon, sun. Sun, moon. How are we going to do that? Because now I can't turn it any further. But yeah, Sly, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun to deal with either. Having somebody who's like in denial like that. Ugh. Jump up there. All right, that didn't work the way I thought it would. Uh, maybe I'm just supposed to leave out that door. Maybe that's the whole point here. I mean, it makes sense to me. I'm sorry to hear that though. That doesn't it sounds like it sounds like it's a uh, tough time. Actually no, you know what I do know that person, but I'm not related to Oh yeah, that's true. That is true. We do know uh we do know Nox uh got some relatives who are uh who are like that. I mean so far one thing I've seen is my parents are like very dissatisfied with the way that the Biden administration is handling things, which, you know, I'm a socialist. I get that. Well, more of an anarchist, really. But either way, I'm on the left. I get that. But I think that he's doing a like not great job for different reasons than they do. And I can still, you know, acknowledge that there are things that he's doing well. Or at least he's addressing things, you know, in such a way that are helpful, even if just a little bit. Things that if we had another administration in there, like, I don't know, the Trump administration, that uh, they definitely would not have gotten done. Or even would have been made to be, like, worse. Jesus. So... He's not perfect, and if I could vote for anybody else, like, literally, I uh, I would have. But, you know, there's uh, there's certain things that are more important than, you know, one's personal pride. And and uh, that's kind of how I feel about the that administration is like, yeah, I don't like him, but uh, I would much rather him than Trump. <laughs> You are going backwards there, buddy. Man, this place is so rickety. The fact of the matter is that since we're not all of the same political beliefs and needs, sadly, no president or politician is ever going to win this country over. Yeah, exactly. You can't please everybody. There's never going to be a president with a 100% approval rating ever. I think the closest we got was Bush after 9-11. And uh, 
you know, he was kind of negligent and probably shouldn't have gotten such a high rating anyway. But you know what? I just realized there's a net there and I didn't need to redo all of this bullshit. Um, but yeah, nobody's ever going to have a 100% approval rating and be able to adjust every single thing for everybody. I got up there, I saw him, and I was like, nope, actually, I'm going to leave. See you later. All right, that one didn't want to break. I don't understand you. I just don't understand you. I don't understand the things you say. I cannot understand a single word. Oh, hey, bird. Yeah, no, this is your spot. Have a good day. Have a beautiful goodbye. Good night, or whatever that one is. I hate the relative camera. Oh my lord. Why you stop it, birdie? Why you stop it? I'm just trying to escape you. Oh my lord. Do a moonsault. No. I'm going to smoke this bird out. All right. I kind of have an idea what to do with this. So I'm going to do that. Ron an hour ago. I'm going to sign off now. Remember when that was a thing I said? And yet here I am. Oh, good thing he was able to catch himself. Up we go, and there. Jump. This doesn't look too sturdy. But hey. Kurt Angle, call you Kurt. Uh, Jake Horn, how's it going, buddy? Hey, I'm here. I'm just lurking because I'm supposed to be working. Don't tell my boss. Don't worry, I won't. I don't know who your boss is, and I wouldn't tell on you anyway. How's it going, though, buddy? How is work? Call you Kurt Angle, moonsaulting everybody. Moonsaulting everybody because you look like Rambo? Little B doesn't make any sense. I don't get it, but okay. Game is going really pretty well. I'm uh, trying to avoid this giant bird, and uh, he's making it really difficult on me. Because, you know, he's a giant bird. It's his whole thing. He makes things difficult on you. In case you didn't know, that's that's their whole point to live in. That's what Sly said last night, too. Just one more, just one more, two hours later. Yeah. Now, what I should be doing is the grocery shopping that I said I was going to do. But uh, instead, I'm playing this game. I'm doing okay. It's just supposed to be Thanksgiving up here, but I'm rain because the news waits for no one. <laughs> I spell good. Yeah, yeah. Living your best dino life. Who needs food? Who needs water? Who needs to feel like your nose isn't running all the time? I definitely don't. But yes, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sly. I uh, kind of overlooked the Thanksgiving thing because I'm not a Canadian, so I didn't think about that it's Thanksgiving today or was Thanksgiving yesterday or anything along those lines. There's a song called Kurt Angle by the rapper Lil B. Oh, I didn't know that. Better than dealing with family sometimes? I will take your word for it. I don't know where... You know, now that you mention it, Jay, I don't know much about your family. But I'll take your word for it. I don't know where to go from here. We did the three things. Do I have to go out to the water now? Go into the water, live there, die there. Hi, Foxy. Whoa, we get lumberjacks. I believe that. I could tell just from the ponytail. Um. Nope, that's not the right way. That just gets us started on our whole thing again. We survive on Poutine and Molson. Nice. Molson was my go-to for a little while there. Mostly because I'm poor. But then I found out about PBR. 
And I'm not going to go any further with that because uh, they haven't sponsored me. And if they want my uh, my saying that uh, you know their beer is good, then I will uh, I will need some monetary compensation. No, no, no. Molson like the beer, but maybe Matt Molson has a stake in that. I don't know. I haven't heard that name in a while. Man, it's hockey time again. I think yesterday was the first game of the season. I don't know. I live in Ottawa. We have so many craft brews here that even poor such as I can have quality beer experience. We have a couple breweries out here as well. Like uh, Genesee is, uh, is out here. Um, and we have a few IPAs as well. But uh, I don't know. I don't drink very often. But I know some folks who would be really excited to like come here and be like, whoa, you guys have this? Oh man, I missed the last quarter of that other one. Dang it. Yeah, I actually do good in fantasy hockey, but nobody wants to play me this year. Cause I'm too good. Hey, you know what? I think that's totally fair. Why would you want to keep going up against Gretzky when he keeps on, you know, scoring on your goalie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, don't, I don't understand that reference though. I mean, I am breaking pottery by yelling at it, yes. I really watch hockey and yeah, I build fancy hockey dynasties. Oh, Skyrim. Okay. Yeah, I haven't played Skyrim in a long time. I'm sure Sly got that reference though, since she's on ESO all the time. Can you please shout at that flame? No? Okay. Oh my god, I can't remember the last time I played Skyrim actually. It has been at least years. Hey, we're back outside. Ooh. Well, yeah, I kind of figured that you played um, Skyrim. But I didn't know if you had played Skyrim recently. Foxy, let's go. Yeah, me either. I've never beaten the, the main quest of that game either. You used to play ESO a lot, Jay. What uh, what made you stop? Just uh, lost interest in it? Okay. I'm just able to jump into trees like that. No big deal. All right, Jay. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, have fun working. MMOs can't hold your attention these days. I gotcha. That's why I could never get started with it. I started, like, way too late. I could never get into World of Warcraft or ESO or anything like that. But man, do I own it. Now where do I go? Alright, thanks, buddy. Excuse me. Uh... Pfft. I guess I could just jump across these rocks. <laughs> just kidding. No, I can't. Uh, I feel like there has to be a ledge or something. Something that I'm just missing. Oh, hey, look, a ledge. I just never look close enough at the scenery. That's my problem. Oh, as a treat to your audience, here's the what's left of a secret's Burnin's tragic backstory involves an extended nap. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. Have a good one, Jay. Thanks again for stopping by. Enjoy the lurk. And enjoy the work. <laughs> Alright, let's get up. 
here. Oh! Okay. Well, I guess the birdie is, uh, just got exploded. Can't save. Okay. Alright, I think I can do that. Oh, okay. Well, I guess this got, this blew it up. That's not very good for him. But that's my name. Well, I'll tell you what, Fox. 23. Oh, no! I guess that turkey was not completely charred yet. Wah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Alright, bye, birdie. Oh, well, thank God that's over. Now then, let's get time back on its right full, I don't know, way, I don't know how this, how this thing works. Hello, Foxy. Angry Birds look different from the last time I played it. Yeah. Oh, I know what I got to do now. I got to solve this puzzle again. All right, let's try this one more time. Uh, pushing the ball, pushing the ball. I got to get the moon so it projects on the wall. Uh, yeah, okay, there it is. <laughs> Someone fed that bird after midnight. Yeah, somebody did. Wonder who. Hey, look at that. We got the door open. Can you please, like, jump down faster? Thank you. I don't think I went into any of these doors, though. Yeah, I expected that bird to turn around the corner and be like, Hi, Bert! Get it? Because it's a big bird reference. I don't know why I would say Bert. Because my name is not Bert. Well, maybe it is. You don't know. I hate the crackling. You accuse me of getting near a 700 foot tall bird because I plead the fifth. I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but that sounds like a guilty conscience to me. Why does the music gotta be like so ridiculous? I really do need to find out like why it's doing that. Time to make pumpkins! Are you crocheting pumpkins? Or are you literally making pumpkins? Because that would be really impressive if you could just like do alchemy and make pumpkins. Ah! Oh, so it's both. Oh, crocheting. Okay. Nice. All right, let's go up to the next level. Oh my gosh. I think once we get up to the top here, I'm going to take a break because uh, it's getting late. I got to go to the store. And I have streamed much longer than I had anticipated. She's inducing labor of a soon-to-be mother pumpkin. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gotta birth the great pumpkin. Via the great cesarean, you know. Yeah. That's not how inducing labor works. I should know this. Yeah. By shouting at her, yes. Yeah. Push, but I'm not ready yet. Push! Poop it out now. Yes, that's 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 definitely how birthing works. I mean, I guess when you consider like tearing and stuff, that is not totally wrong, but like it's pretty wrong. 
We're going into the forest now. Yay. Anyway, let's not think about tearing. That sounds fucking terrible. Unbearable, much like every single water level ever. Or is Pumpkin? Neither one. <laughs> Oh no, it's my nemesis. Red cloak McCloaky cloak. Water? Yes, water. Surrounded by it on all sides. But not a drop to drink. Tragic, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> Little red riding locked character, yeah. Thank you for the hydrate check. Apparently it's just not popping up on my phone today. Okay, uh, well now we are uh, waking up in the middle of a forest. Uh, cool, love that. It's a lot, a lot nicer than what we were looking at before. You know, the desert and the darkness and the water level. Ugh. Okay, but no, that is going to do it for me today. So um, we're just going to go over here. We're going to do this thing here where we go into the chatting screen for just a little bit. So thank you, everybody. Oh, stop by. Thank you to Sly and Master Jake and Jake Horn and Dragon. Hey everybody, Color Mania, who stopped by and said hello. Truly appreciate it. If you would like to uh, continue to uh, see great content like this and you are not already following the, uh, the channel, please follow the channel. <laughs> um, it costs nothing and it makes me feel great. Uh, what's left of us is going to be in... A couple more weeks we got uh, 18 days to what's left of us so uh be on the lookout for that uh what else what else what else go follow me on twitter and tiktok and all the other stuff at megaron tv check me out on youtube if you missed any part of this it's going to be on youtube as well so uh go and look at that uh and i don't know what else to say except for i hope you have a wonderful day and i will talk to you all uh next time all right talk to you later everybody goodbye this is not the right screen. Oh no, oh, I'm messing this up again. Where's the end screen? Oh no. Ah, oh, there it is. Goodbye.